Welcome to the Admiral of the Humber Weatherspoon Hotel in Hull City Centre. And the lights have gone off. I'm in Hull, East Yorkshire, in England. And two of us are staying in this twin room for one night, which has cost £58. So we're on a room only basis. And we are very close to Hull Railway Station, which is literally out of the door and just over there. Hull's main railway station is less than a five minute walk away. So this is very conveniently located if you're traveling in, into Hull by train. And it is really a short walk to the city center, old town shops and everything else. So typical Weatherspoon Hotel. This is actually a smaller room than the uh, other Weatherspoon Hotel that I've uh, stopped in, but it's still tidy, still nice. Good looking uh, facilities and some nice freebies. So I'll go back to the beginning and talk you through. So upon coming in, we've got air conditioning, light switch, chair, table, two single beds, full size mirror for checking yourself out. We've got, sorry, bedside tables on either side of the bed and there's plug sockets with USB also on both sides and two different uh, lamps, which is really good. Over here we've got a big flat screen Samsung TV and uh, a desk area, another mirror so you can use it as a dressing table, telephone to reception which is just down the corridor, chair, bin beneath and then you've got tea and coffee making facilities which comes with a couple of nice free biscuits and a complimentary bottle of still water and a complimentary bottle of sparkling water. So very good, we like. Down here is my luggage so apologies for that. Uh, there is some uh, coat hangers up there, there's about 10 coat hangers, ironing board iron, towels and a couple of spare pillars up there should you need them. So basically this is a decent little room for what we've paid in a very good location in Hull City Centre. It's a small room but it's big enough for what we need. Right, moving on, there are a couple more plug sockets down here as you can see just down there so that's good so you can charge all your things up that you bring with you. Bathrooms through this door here, let's have a look in there. It's a small sink area, but tidy. With mirror just there. Nice wet room style shower. One of those uh, rainfall ones, I like those. That's good, that's really nice, much nicer than having a, a bathtub. You've got some uh, complimentary uh, soap on the wall just there and this is very well thought out. You turn the taps on and off over here. So that means that you don't have to get underneath the cold shower when you've turned the tap on because the water won't come through hot straight away. So that's really well thought out. And what's also well thought out is the fact that there is a, a non-slip mat just there because that's obviously quite a slippy surface. So well done again, Weatherspoon. This is good. You've got the toilet, a couple of loo rolls there, one to use, one for the bag. Hey, it's COVID times, you know. You got a heated towel rail just there, which is currently switched off, and the switch for it is just there. And on the back of the bathroom door, we've got hooks. We like hooks. Excellent. Oh, <laughs> more hooks. It's a hook fest. Right. So there's not going to be an awful lot for me to film here, if I'm honest with you. You saw the very brief glance at reception. I'll take a couple of corridor shots the lift and the pub downstairs, as well as uh, an exterior shot from outside. But yeah, this is it. Admiral of the Humber, Hull, East Yorkshire, England. See you later, kids. Please mind the doors. So the lift is a lift to UK. Going down. Holds eight people, it says. 630 kilos of people. That would be a tight squeeze, Door trust me. Zero. Anyway, it takes you down to the pub.
The film that you've just watched is a Must Travel Media production and you can find more like them by going to www.musttravel.tv Thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel and watching my film, it's hugely appreciated. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, by going to youtube.com forward slash Stuart Moss. Hit the red subscribe button. When you've done that, a little bell will appear. If you hit the bell, then you'll also get notifications about any future travel films which I upload. If you like my travel films, then you might also like my second channel, which is about home and garden. Uh, please uh, have a look for that channel. You'll find it at www mosshomeandgarden.co.uk and if you like what you see please give that a subscribe also. If you'd like to connect with me as Moss Travel Media on other social media then you'll find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Moss Travel that's the page and if you'd like to connect with the profile then the profile is Moss Travelog. If you'd like to connect with me on Instagram to see my travel photography, where I'm up to, what stories I'm telling, then go to instagram.com forward slash stewmoss or do a search for user stewmoss. If you'd like to connect on Twitter, I'm at Moss Travel TV. On Pinterest, I'm Moss Travel Media, which is pinterest.co.uk forward slash Moss Travel TV. On Tumblr, I'm stuartmoss.tumblr.com or just do a search for Moss Travel Tumblr. On WordPress, I'm wordpress.com forward slash view forward slash Moss Travel TV dot wordpress.com or do a search for Moss Travel Media on WordPress. And on vcontactor you can find me by going to vk.com forward slash Moss Travel Media or doing a search for Stuart Moss. If you'd like to contact me about film usage or any other issue please just email me on mosstraveltv at gmail.com and once again, thank you for watching and for your support. I really, really do appreciate it. I wish you all the best of days, happy travels and bon voyage.